Good morning, Year 6. I hope that you're safe and well and that you had a lovely day yesterday and enjoyed all of your learning. Did you enjoy the um, Tuesday work, being a detective, asking lots of questions and the PSHE work on happiness? Did you produce a lovely memory candle? Did you think back of all those happy memories that you've had? Um, I hope that you enjoyed them. Anyway, so today is Wednesday. So, as always, please could you click on the Wednesday word and read the gospel and look at the reflection activities. And then in maths, we're carrying on with conversion of fractions to decimals. But we're using a strategy that I absolutely love, okay? <laughs> and it's a different way of converting um, fractions to decimals, and I know that you're really going to enjoy it. It's called the short division method. Let me just move my computer out of it. So it's called the short division method, and it's really very clever, and you are going to love it, I know you are. Okay, so the short division method is to convert a fraction to a decimal, you can divide the denominator into the numerator, all right? So, for example, when we have got one fifth, you can divide one by five. So in order to do that, we need to make it into a decimal, and we will either use one decimal place, two decimal places, or three decimal places. So sometimes you might need three decimal places, year six. So bear that in mind when you're doing it. So change one to a decimal, okay? So we have got 1.0. So 1.0 divided by five. Well, we know that five doesn't go into one, so zero, and we carry the one over. We raise that decimal through the roof, don't we, at that bus stop, and then we divide 10 by 5, and we have got 2. So we have got our decimal equivalent for 1.5 is 0 0.2. How brilliant is that? How easy is it? So instead of converting it to a tenth, so changing, multiplying the 5 to by 2 to the 10, and then the numerator 1 by um two, which makes it two. So you've got two tenths there. This is an alternative way of doing it. It's a great method because sometimes it might not be apparent. It's easy to change one fifth to a tenth. But if it's a harder decimal to change that doesn't necessarily go into 10 or 100 or 1,000, this is a brilliant way of doing it. Okay, so let's have a look at three quarters. So we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. So we're going to say 3.00 by 4. So we know that 3 and um, that 4 doesn't go into 3, so that's 0. We carry the 3 over. We raise that decimal through the roof. We carry that 3 over. 4s into um, 30 go 7, remainder 2, 4s into 20 go 5, Naught point seven five. there is the decimal equivalent. Brilliant! Can you see why we call it the short division method? Because we are doing bus stop division and we are dividing that numerator by the denominator. This is a tricky one. Now this is a good example of one that doesn't that doesn't naturally go, oh it goes into 10, oh it goes into 100, oh it goes into 1000. So this is a really good example of one here. So we're going to divide 3 by 8, all right? So we know that 8 doesn't go into 3, so we've got the 0. We raise that decimal through the, shout it at me please, we carry the 3 over, so 8 into 30 goes 3, with that remainder 6, okay, and then we say 8 into 60 goes 7, remainder 4, and um, we go 8 into 40 is 5, so we have got 0 0.375, so we've got our thousandth there, so we needed those three decimal points in order to work out 3 eighths. Now, this method is really um, well explained as well on the White Rose video link. So click on that video link today and it will talk you through the method that I've just shown you. So for a change, we're doing the same thing. <laughs> it's not Miss Lawson's secret strategy, all right? So have a go, I'm just putting the paper down there. Um, have a go today at using the short division method to work out those decimals from the fraction. Okay, guys? Brilliant. I hope you really enjoy it. I love that way. And remember, answer those first questions, and if you feel confident, 
carry on to the challenge. It's lovely to see how many of you are feeling confident and moving on to the challenge questions as well. So well done, I'm really proud of you. Okay, so we're looking at Tuesday today again, our world book for Thursday. And um, yesterday we looked at being investigated, we were the detectives and we were looking at open-ended questions, asking questions to interview people, yeah? And we looked at the, the witnesses who might have seen something or might have slept through it, what did they see, what did they smell, what did they hear, um, all about it. Well, what we're going to be moving on to is writing a report where people will be speaking, witnesses will be um, talking. So we're going to be looking at speech. So today we've got an activity on um, dialogue, okay? On direct, so direct, and reported speech. Reported speech is by somebody else, okay? And direct speech is when we use our speech marks, okay? So, you need to read through the examples that um, I've put on the slides and then um, complete the tasks on slides 44 and 45. And what you'll be doing is looking at changing direct speech to reported speech, reported speech to direct speech. Just so that you, it's a recap, you know how to do it, I know that you did it in year four and five, and it's a recap, it's revision for you because there's quite a few things that you need to think about for grammatically, okay, when you are doing this. So it's a nice little recap this activity is. And the activities on there, they are linked to Tuesday and they are such fun. So really do enjoy doing that year six. I, I know that you will do. Okay, so that is your morning activities. In the afternoon, PE as usual. Now, I've put a couple of um, activities on there linked to World Book Day and there is a yoga activity which I think looks absolutely fantastic. So have a little look at those, otherwise the weather is absolutely beautiful. So get out in the garden, have a game with your family and get some fresh air and keep active, okay? Brilliant. Now we're going to do RE today as well and at the moment we're in Lent so we're going to start our Lent topic today and I'd like you to read through the PowerPoint all about Lent. It's nothing different, you know all of this already and there's a couple of tasks that I'd like to do, you to do. You might have done this already okay, however task one is to write a Lenten promise okay and that is on slide 14 and then Task two, I love this one, is to write a letter to God about how you will pray, how you will fast, and how you will help others during Lent. Now, I know that a lot of you do this all of the time because you are such wonderful children and you are so kind, you are so caring, you think about everybody all of the time. And I know that you're fantastic with your prayers as well. So really, it's just making sure that we're doing these daily. So what are you going to do to make sure that you do these things during Lent? And it's our promise to God. We're talking to God and um, it's your letter to God. It's your personal um, conversation with God as well. So um, enjoy that activity. And um, that's it for Wednesday. Crikey, the week is going so fast. So decimals to fractions using the short division method, okay? Looking at reported and direct speech in English. Get outside or do some world book related PE activities and then write your Lenten promise and your letter to God this afternoon. Okay, year six. Have an absolutely fantastic day, all right? Lots of love. Bye-bye.